standing Standing by peaceful waters Standing by peaceful waters Many years ago, along the Illinois-Wisconsin border, there was this Indian tribe. They found two babies in the woods, white babies. One of them was named Elizabeth. She was the fairer of the two, while the smaller and more fragile one was named Marie. Having never seen white girls before and living on the two lakes known as the Twin Lakes, they named the larger, more beautiful lake, Lake Elizabeth. And thus the smaller lake that was hidden from the highway became known forever as Lake Marie. We were standing Standing by peaceful waters Standing by peaceful waters Many years later, I found myself talking to this girl who was standing there with her back turned to Lake Marie. The wind was blowing, especially through her hair. There was four Italian sausages cooking on the outdoor grill. And man, they were sizzling. Many years later, we found ourselves up in Canada trying to save our marriage and perhaps catch a few fish. Whatever seemed easier. That night, she fell asleep in my arms, humming the tune to Louis Louis. Oh, baby. We gotta go now. We were standing. Standing by peaceful waters. Standing by peaceful waters. The dogs were barking as the cars were parking. The lone sharks were sharking and the narks were narking. Practically everyone was there in the parking lot by the forest preserve. The police have found two bodies in the woods, naked bodies, and their faces have been horribly disfigured by some kind of sharp object. Saw it on the news, on the six o'clock news, in a black and white video. You know what blood looks like in a black and white video? Shadows. 
shadows That's what it looks like All the love that we share Between her and me Man, it was slammed Slammed up against the bank's old Lake Marine Standing Standing by peaceful waters Standing by peaceful waters We gotta go now. 